most schools are, you know, unprotected or minimally protected, you know, and and, and are subject to the response time uh, 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 and response and, and the quality of officer that, that's going to show up. Alex Signe comes from a military trained background. School safety has been on his mind for years, but the shooting at Rom Elementary made him get serious about coming up with his own safety plan. The proposal I made up is basically to put uh, one highly trained and very thoroughly vetted uh, individual in every school. Uh, and we've been having the highest quality of people already reaching out to me saying, I will quit my job. I will get out of the military early to come do this because it's something I believe in. Right now, Comal ISD has 15 school resource officers. New Braunfels ISD has five. Sinye doesn't think this is sufficient when it comes to protecting kids from an active shooter. It's more of an issue of there's not enough officers to be in every school. Jeff Foley is the president of the Texas Association of School Resource Officers. We're making contact with these kids and with these teachers before they even have a problem. Foley says SROs are there to form relationships with students and deter any kind of illegal or violent activity. Sinye's guardians will have a specific role. Everybody will know that that guardian is there to guard children uh, in the event that the absolute worst happens. The operating cost, Sinye estimates, would be 1% of the district's total budget. I think right around three and a half million yearly operating costs, um, which sounds like a lot, but that puts a person in every single school. Sinye says at this point, neither district is picking up his guardian program proposal, but he's not going to stop pushing the school boards to do more to keep kids safe. Uh, this program takes away all of that variability to who's going to show up to one of these events. Lee Waldman, KSAT 12 News.